गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबडी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस इन एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फर्स्ट यूनिट इज डायोड एंड एप्लीकेशंस द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन अंडर फॉरवर्ड बायस कंडीशन विथ इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स सेकेंड क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ पी एन जंक्शन अंडर रिवर्स बायस कंडीशन विथ इट्स कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स थर्ड क्वेश्चन इज एक्सप्लेन द ऑपरेशन ऑफ फुल वेव रेक्टिफायर एंड हाफ वेव रेक्टिफायर विथ एंड विदाउट फिल्टर्स derive all the required expressions fourth question is explain the characteristics and applications of a photodiode and led fifth question is explain the operation of tunnel diode sixth question is explain how does the reverse saturation current of a diode varies with the temperature next question is explain negative p clipper with and without reference voltage next question is Ex, uh, define diffusion capacitance also derive the expressions for cd write diode current equation and explain the terms involved it and in this and uh, from this unit you may get the problems also related to half wave rectifier full wave rectifier and diode current equation so remember all the formulas coming to unit 2 bjt's explain the operation of npn transistor with neat diagrams compare transistor configuration ce cb and cc explain thermal runaway and stability explain input and output configurations of common base configuration next common emitter configuration and then common collector configuration seventh question is explain the operation of rc coupled amplifier next write a short note on gain bandwidth gain bandwidth product and amplification factor next write a short note on q point that is the operating point and the next question is explain biasing and the biasing compensation methods 11th question is explain emitter follower circuit 12th question is write a short note on two cascaded ce and multi stage ce amplifier and uh, from this unit also you may get uh, one question and the b bit as a problem related to amplification factor and transistor configurations and uh, you have to remember all the required formulas coming to unit 3 fets and digital circuits compare j fet and bjt second question is explain the operation of n channel j fet with neat diagrams and also write its uh, vi characteristics third question is explain the operation of n channel enhancement mosfet with neat diagrams and its characteristics explain the operation of n channel depletion mode mosfet with neat diagrams and its characteristics not only n channel you have to remember or you have to study the p channel jfet and p channel enhancement and depletion mosfets also next question is compare jfet and mosfet next compare all the logic families seventh question is explain nand and nor op nor gates with dtl explain the operation of nand gate with dtl that is transistor transistor logic next write a short note on common source and common drain amplifiers you have to uh, explain the circuits if needed and you have to write the uh, write the formulas related to it coming to unit 4 that is combinational logic circuits explain the boolean function simplification using k map uh, three variable and k, k four variable are very important with and without don't care conditions you have to study mm, they may ask like this also mm, uh, using laws you have to reduce the given expression so you have to remember all the laws and postulates involved in this chapter second question is explain encoders and decoders with examples encoder types and decoder types for example explain 3 to 8 decoder with example they may ask question like this so in general i gave the question you have to study all the types involved in it next question is explain multiplexers and demultiplexers with examples fourth question is explain the operation of four bit binary adder subtractor circuit by considering your own four bit numbers so uh, you have to consider a and b as the two variables in a you have to consider a four bit number and in b you have to consider one more four bit number um, if the control in
control signal m is 0 addition operation will be performed if the control signal m is 1 then the subtraction operation will be performed we have to explain um, if m is 0 what what is the operation of the circuit by considering the example and if m is 1 what is the operation of circuit you have to explain clearly then explain half adder and full adder sixth question is state and explain consensus theorem and transposition theorem seventh question is write a short note on de morgan's laws eighth question is explain logic gates and universal gates ninth question is explain nand and nor realization it means that using nand gate you have to realize all the other gates you have to draw the circuits involved uh, required and using nor gate you have to realize all other gates so uh, you have to remember the laws postulates de morgan's laws mainly for in order to implement this next 10th question is write a short note on comparator 11th question is explain decimal adder 12th question is explain binary multiplier circuit with necessary examples so here also you have to consider 2 bit or 3 bit or 4 bit numbers in a and b you have to perform the multiplication operation based on that operation you have to draw the logic circuit next th 13th question is simplify the following uh, expression using k map it is given that f of a comma b comma c comma d is next 13th question is simplify the following function using k map the question is as follows f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma 1 3 4 5 6 11 13 14 and 15 so it is clear from the question that there are four different variables that is a b c and d so we have to consider a four variable k map or 16 cell k map so here sigma is given that mean min terms are given so in the place of 1 3 4 5 6 11 13 14 and 15 we need to place ones and in all the remaining places we need to place zeros and we have to map all the ones and write the uh, final reduced expression next if pi is given you, so it means that in the place of uh, it means that they gave us the max term so in the place of max term we need to place zeros and we need to pair up all the zeros and write the uh, reduced expression 14th question is convert the decimal number 128.25 into binary octal and hexadecimal number system so in our class we have discussed all the number based conversions so i gave this question as a sample you have to practice all the types of number based conversions next question is simplify the following boolean expression into one literal so it is given that w complement x into z complement plus y z plus x into w plus y complement z so it is given mm, that we need to reduce it we need to simplify it on into one literal so in at the end we need to have only one variable so here uh, it has um, in the question they gave us that we need to simplify it it means that not using k map it means that it using laws and using uh, postulates we have to simplify this so you have to remember all the laws required and at the end the answer will be only in one variable so practice this type of questions also prove that and or network is equivalent to nand nand network so we have to draw the logic circuits of and or and nand nand uh, and you have to write the truth tables at the end or uh, the truth tables of and or and 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 will be equal so we can say that the and or network is equivalent to and and network this type of questions are also important give the simplest logic circuit for the following logic equation where d represent don't care conditions f of a comma b comma c comma d is equal to sigma m of 7 plus d of 10 11 12 13 and 14 so min term is given as 7 and in don't care they gave 10 11 12 13 14 and 15 so uh, based upon this we need to uh, place the min terms and don't care and we have to pair up and write the expression after getting the expression we need to draw the logic circuit based upon that expression don't forget to draw the logic circuit all the students they'll do the mistake that they'll reduce the expression and leave it 
but here in the equation they gave that based upon the expression we need to draw the logic circuit also so d is don't care here don't cares can also be represented with 2 or with x don't get confused with the terms next design are 3 to 1 marks using 16 is to 1 marks and 2 is to 1 marks so not only 3 to 1 marks you have to practice 8 to 1 marks using 4 to 1 marks and using 2 to 1 marks all other different conversions you have to practice so marks tree uh, I, I have explained this topic also in the class next write basic uh, theorems and postulates of boolean algebra so remember all the uh, derivations remember all the postulates and laws of boolean algebra so that you can simplify uh, the uh, given questions very easily and coming to unit 5 sequential logic circuits the first one is compare latches and flip-flops so uh, not only comparison uh, they may ask like define latch define flip-flop you have to study the different definitions also properly difference between combinational and sequential circuit they may ask differences and they may ask the definitions also difference between synchronous, synchronous and asynchronous counters next one is explain the type of flip-flops with truth table characteristic table and excitation table write necessary equations if any draw logic circuits and timing diagrams so you have to write a flip-flop you have to write explain about it about its uh, uh, inputs about its outputs you have to write the truth tables present state next state characteristic table excitation table and you have to draw the logic circuits related to it and timing diagrams timing diagrams is must next one is what is race around condition explain next sixth question is explain shift registers and explain so we have four different shift registers you have to explain about uh, all those in detail compare ram and rom they may ask question like this also compare dsram and dram in the the categories of ram are sram and dram they may ask the differences between those two also so you have to remember what is sram what is dram what are the differences between those two and they may ask uh, the types of rom also and the differences between the types of rom also next ninth question is explain the operation of ring counter next explain the operation of johnson's counter 11th question is design a modulo 10 counter using jk flip-flop they may ask question like this also design a modulo modulo 10 counter using t flip-flop consider an example and explain the concept of state reduction and assignment this is very easy and very important concept realize t and t flip-flops using jk flip-flop not only this conversion you have to remember all the other conversion flip-flop conversions also sr to d sr to t sr to jk jk to sr in the class we have seen all those conversions so try to follow try to practice all those conversions if you study these questions properly you will get very good marks in analog and digital electronics and this pdf will be shared in the description thank you all the best for your exams